In this video, I'm going to look at a carrier HVAC system that the blower motor has become very noisy on the uh, air handler inside the house. So let's see what's causing the problem. So this is my carrier um, AC system. It was installed in 2002 and the fan motor has been replaced once and it's making a lot of noise. So I turn it on listen to the noise it's making. Definitely should not be making that kind of noise. So we're going to take this thing apart and see why has the motor failed again or is something loose. So I've got the cover off of here. I'm just going to remove the access panel and we'll see what uh, is causing all this racket. Okay, there's not a lot of room to see, to see in here where the motor and stuff is because it's a very tight fit. But if I spin this by hand, hear it. So the first thing I have to do is I have to take the control panel out of the way, swing this out of the way so that I can access the main screws on this thing. This is a real pain to move this thing out. I've, I've done it before. I had to change this fan motor about five years ago and it looks like the bearings have failed again on it. So the electrical panel, the control panel is out. Now there's a couple of screws here that hold the fan assembly in or the fan. I think I gotta take this safety switch out too because it's not gonna be enough clearance to slide this thing out. It's very tight fitting. 5 16 wrench to fit this. So I'm just gonna take out the two screws on either side of the fan so that I can pull the fan out. Okay the screws removed the fan assembly will just slide out. Now that the blower assembly is out I can Turn it and see what's causing all this racket. I have a feeling there's a flat spot in the bearing. And it's caused to see the, the fan, the blower itself actually has some play. And I think what's happening is as this thing's spinning, you can see it. You can hear it. As it goes around. I think we've got a, a bad motor. As you can hear, every time the motor spins, it's making a thumping sound. So I have to take the motor out. It comes out from the other side, and I, I can loosen off the uh, I can loosen off the the bolt here, and the motor should come out from the other side. So I got to remove these four bolts, and then I've already loosened the the, the fan uh, blower assembly from the shaft. So then, to loosen these three, the motor itself should pull out and leave the rest of the fan behind. So there's the old motor. That's out of here. I'm gonna have to uh, find a replacement. So after taking this whole thing apart, I figured out it's actually not the motor that's making all that racket. It's actually the fan assembly itself. Check this. Ouch. Sharp. Watch this. I can actually turn the inner. I don't know if that was ever welded or whether it was just press fit, but that's what's happened is this has... Uh, free and uh, that's what's making that horrible racket when the motor starts up the inner piece spins and then the fan slowly comes up to speed so I have to figure out a way to make that grip I don't think it was ever welded but that might be, have to be the solution it looks like it was just it looks like it was probably just pressed with the actual rotor itself and it's come undone. Interesting. My solution may be just to pry apart these two pieces, bend them back in a shape so that they grip the teeth on either side so that this can't slip anymore. That might be my simple solution because all it is, it's not the motor to screw, it's the bloody fan blades themselves have come loose. I just go around this thing and just Give it a good bend here and there. Stop this thing from slipping. See now, 
it doesn't turn anymore. Now I may be able to put my fan back together and have air conditioning again. So I'm going to remount the motor. And we'll, well, actually test it. I've got the capacitor and everything out here with it, so we'll actually test this thing before I take it back in the house. Make sure that it's going to perform as expected and not make enough noise to wake the dead. Hey guys, it's not rocket science, right? Now what I did is I went and I spread the two uh, pieces to, apart to grip the fan blades because it's driven from the middle hub. And what I've done is I've put screws, long screws down to keep the pieces spread. And hopefully those screws are never gonna work their way loose. But I've just stuck some long threaded screws down that uh, should keep tension on the actual hub itself and hold it together. It doesn't look like it was ever welded. It looks like it was just press fit right from the factory. Probably designed so that you have to keep buying a new one every few years, right? Isn't that what they want you to do? They want you to uh, replace stuff all the time. This is the run capacitor. Reconnect that. And I'll put the ground wire on there, but I'm gonna just center the, the fan itself and make sure that it spins without uh, wobbling. Okay, now the fan's oh, not quite centered. It's gotta make sure that it doesn't rub when I because there's some play in the motor so I'm just going to tap this down a bit and then tighten up the screw and then we'll plug it in. It's a snug fit. Okay. Now it doesn't make any, any contact. So now we can tighten down the lock screw. Spin this thing and see if it still makes noise. Ah, nice and quiet. Before, it remember, it was going thump, 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 thump. I do believe we can connect power. Get my, my power cheater cord here. And we will connect power up to this thing and see what it does. So there's my power here. I'm just going to put it off on the straight power, not uh, through my bench, through my Variac because this thing's going to draw a little bit more than what my Variac is capable of supplying. low speed. Let's go to medium and high. Don't know which one that is. It's either medium or high. One of the two. We'll find out pretty quick. Sounds like medium, and 
this one's probably high. So what I'm doing now is I'm screwing down, I'm putting in some screws down and through the between the two uh, plates to hold to spread them apart to hold them tight. I'm going to put about eight long screws through here, and then I'm going to put JB Weld over them so that they can't ever come out. This should uh, help balance this thing too. Let me put one down here. That one about here. You see now, it's not. Uh, little more true now. Try and balance this thing off a bit. I think we might be okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some JB Weld down around these screws just to make sure that centrifugal force is going to uh, cause them to fly out into my uh, air conditioner and possibly damage it. So let's uh, mix up some JB Weld and we'll Put a bunch of JB Weld over top of that and uh, then hopefully this thing's going to work. Obviously I'm going to clean this up first, make sure there's no debris and dirt on there. We'll do that first and then uh, we'll put some JB Weld on there and then try it out. Yeah, I can probably try it out first and just power this thing up. See how much better this thing runs than the last time. I would say that that's working pretty good. So after setting everything up, that's how, how centered I've got it. It's not bad. Shouldn't be a problem now. I'm just going to uh, put some glue down here now to seal up these screws that I've driven down so that they don't work their way loose. And then this will be ready to reinstall and test. Okay, I've got the, uh, the glue has now dried. I put a bunch of Gorilla Glue around where I drove the screws in. Well, should hopefully keep the screws from working their way loose and keep this middle section spread out so that it's making a good mechanical contact with the fins because as I say, the drive is from this hub in the middle. This, this hub is what the motor turns and it drives these fins. And what had happened, as you saw, was it was slipping. So now we're gonna test this thing. When I put it back in operation, I'm only going to use the two slowest speeds. So I'll use the low speed for heating, which is this one here. That will be used for heating and I'll use the blue wire, which is the medium speed for the air conditioning. it's not going to be used at all because my it's a three-speed motor but my system only has two speeds low and high low for heating and high for cooling but this one as you can see it's, it's running relatively smooth so I think that uh, we may be okay I'll be able to put this thing back into service and uh, see what happens. That's the MacGyver way of fixing it. Uh, I don't think I'd be able to get just this drum assembly. If I went back to the furnace manufacturer, they would make me buy a, an entire blower with the motor. Now, the last time the motor failed, and I, I record it by just taking another motor and taking the guts out of it because the bearings went bad on it, uh, the motor from the manufacturer was $450. If they want $450 for the motor, they're going to want a lot more than that for this blower assembly. They probably want seven or eight hundred bucks for it. I didn't price it out, but I think this probably 
will be good and I'll be able to put this back into service. So let's do that now. Let's put this back into service so that my air conditioning will once again work. So now it's time just to reinstall the fan. It just slides in here into these tracks. So we'll do that. Bolt that in place and then uh, reconnect the control panel. So let's uh, do that. Okay, after a struggle of me lying on my back for about 10 minutes there to get that uh, fan mounted, I can now put the control board back in place. Get the screws for that here. These ones are quarter inch drive screws. neutral wire plugs in to the neutral connector which is just up here and the black wire just plugs down to the, the, the common it just keeps it out of the way okay now I have to put the interlock switch back into place this is what locks out the system for when you uh, take it apart when you're working on it. This switch this goes in here. Okay, you get it back together, let's power it up and see what it does. Looks like it's working to me. 